The complete set of genetic information for a particular organism is known as its genome. The entire human genome was determined in 2003 and has led to an improved understanding of many genetic conditions. Such diseases include cystic fibrosis and Huntington's disease and more complex conditions such as heart disease and alcoholism may also have genetic links. These may result from changes to the normal sequence of bases in particular genes. Non-functional or harmful proteins may be produced as a result, which can lead to complex repercussions. A gene is a portion of DNA which encodes for one protein. They usually consist of alternating components called exons and introns. An exon is a region of DNA which encodes for a protein and introns are regions which do not. They also contain regulatory regions which can switch genes on or off and ensure it is expressed in the right cell. A large amount of DNA in the human genome is known as junk DNA and it does not express genes, although recent research is challenging the view that it fails to have a purpose. Even so, the function of a large proportion of our DNA remains unknown. From the Human Genome Project, it was discovered that we have 25,000 genes, much less than previously expected. While certain bacteria possess only around 500 genes, some species smaller than ourselves have more than we do. A surprising example is a variety of rice plant, which possesses around 46,000 genes. This clearly suggests there is a much smaller correlation between intelligence and gene number than originally thought. Important genetic sequences are preserved from generation to generation as a result of efficient DNA replication and are usually regions of DNA which encode important proteins. Recombination can occur whereby DNA molecules are broken apart and recombined to form new base sequences. This process often occurs during meiosis, in which DNA from two separate chromosomes are combined. This results in an offspring acquiring a unique genetic code, which ensures genetic diversity between individual organisms. DNA is constantly replicated, repaired and recombined and whilst these processes are usually highly efficient, errors can occur. Bases in the sequence of a gene can change. A cytosine may be replaced by a thymine for example. This can create a completely new codon that encodes a different amino acid than before and as a result it can change the final product a gene expresses. In a similar sense, changing a single letter of a word can drastically alter its meaning. Think of lawful, take out the L and you get awful, a completely different word. These mutations can either be detrimental, neutral or beneficial for the organism and are frequently referred to as single nucleotide polymorphisms or SNPs. If a base is changed, the resulting codon may still encode the same amino acid as it did before, resulting in a neutral mutation. In cases where a different amino acid is encoded, the result may benefit or disadvantage the individual. For example, a mutation in a gene responsible for the colour of an animal's fur may make its fur much darker than before. This may help them camouflage better and help them survive from predators more effectively or may camouflage them less, reducing their chance of survival. Another example is bacteria. Many strains are mutating to become resistant to antibiotics. MRSA, methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, is one such dangerous bacterial mutant. So mutations can be good, 
bad or have no effect at all. Small changes in our genetic code can allow us to adapt to our surroundings and mutations can explain how animals have evolved to inhabit almost every part of the globe. Developing bigger brains, striped fur or long necks are just a small number of ways in which species have adapted to their habitat. It has even been proposed that as humans use technology to help us overcome challenges, we may be preventing ourselves from evolving, with mutations having only a minor effect on how we develop. Mutation rates are also very low, with changes becoming noticeable over the course of millions of years, with just one base in a thousand changing every million years on average. As scientists unravel the mysteries of our genes, we are sure to find many more amazing discoveries. A number of diseases have been shown to have genetic links, and understanding which genes are involved may allow us to understand their cause, helping to develop therapies or predict individuals at increased risk of such conditions. Genetics has also led to some controversial scientific breakthroughs with cloning and the potential for designer babies being criticised for playing God. Gene knockout experiments involve stopping the function of a particular gene and monitoring its effect in a real animal. Whilst it has led to therapies for Parkinson's disease and multiple sclerosis, many strongly oppose the use of animals in research. While scientists must take great care and reflect upon the ethical considerations of their research, it cannot be argued that our intrigue into genetics has led to some amazing scientific discoveries. From the promise of future therapies for disease to an in-depth understanding of what makes us all unique, our DNA is truly fascinating.